Well, welcome back to Contrastly. My name is Simon Plant, and today we're going to have a bit of fun in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how to create some realistic mist. So we're in Photoshop, and I've got an image open on screen. It's already got a fair bit of mist and atmosphere to it, but I thought it'd be nice to add a little bit more, maybe in the foreground here. So I'm going to show you how we can accomplish that. So first of all, I'm going to add a new blank layer for here. And I'm going to get a brush tool. Uh, I'm going to set it to a very low flow, about 9%. I'm going to make sure it's very soft, like so. And I'm going to sample by holding down the Alter Option key, sample some of the colors that are already in the image. This like warm yellowy color, uh, because we don't want to. Uh, we want to try and match the colors that are already in the scene. And I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger, and I'm just going to gently to start with just add a couple of strokes across the image. I'm going to make this one the next one a bit smaller, like so. Okay, so that's our first layer. I'm going to change that. There's before, there's after. I'm going to change the blend mode to this to screen, which is going to really lighten it up somewhat. The next thing I'm going to do um, is to add a layer mask to this layer, like so. With the layer mask highlighted so that's the actual image highlighted with the layer mask highlighted i'm going to go to filter render if i can find it there we go and we're going to go down to difference clouds not what this is going to do is actually going to add a cloud effect to the mask okay the more times you add the filter uh, it keeps changing so if you're not quite happy with that you can go to filter different clouds again and it's going to change it again and you can do this as many times as you want you'll get a different effect each time now it doesn't make a whole lot of difference but you can just try that and see if you get a slightly different effect now, at the moment that's far too strong I mean what this filter is actually doing is breaking up the mass so the effect so we've got if I turn this off so We've got the paint effect that we put on, this mist, but at the moment it's very flat, and I'd like to break it up a little bit, and this is what this mask is doing, if I just enable this, it's breaking it up so it looks a little bit more realistic, well it will do, at the moment it's a little bit too kind of uh, obvious, so the couple of ways we can sort of break this up further is to go to uh, Filter, Blur, and we can either use a Gaussian Blur, or sometimes I might use a combination of both. So first of all, I'm going to go to Motion Blur, because Mist sometimes moves across the scene very low, or just hangs there. So I might just add a bit of bit of Motion Blur to this, just to help break it up a little bit further. Something maybe like that. Looks good. Okay, there's before, there's after. So it's just made it look a little bit more organic shall we say okay now if you're not happy with that you can go in again filter blur and you can add some gaussian blur to it that's just a soften that transition up even further but if you don't want to go too far otherwise we'll just ruin the whole effect so let's bring that back a little bit that looks pretty good uh maybe just drop it down a bit more okay like so now once we're happy with that i'm just actually i'm going to blur it a little bit more Once we're happy with that, we can then add another layer, and we build these up bit by bit, and obviously now we can drop the opacity on this a little bit, if we want to. Um, so let's add another layer, I'm going to add one underneath, um, and this time we're going to use the gradient tool. Now the gradient we want is this one, it's the fourth one along, or at least it is in my version of Photoshop, should be the same with yours, and it's called the reflected gradient. Now, again, we want to make sure our foreground is the colour we've sampled from the image. And we want to go from foreground to transparent, which is the second one in my presets. And now, we're going to hold down the shift key, and we're going to grab the gradient, and we're just going to drag it out, like so. Not too far. Okay, again, we're going to add this to, uh, in the blend mode of screen. And this is adding a bit more meat onto the image. Okay, the other thing I want to do here is again add a filter. I'm going to go to filter, blur again, and I want to go to 
motion blur. Now this time I want to change the direction, the angle, so it goes from top to bottom. Just spread that out a little bit. Like so. So it's kind of replicating, very similar to what's here. You've got you've got like a, 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 a more dense area in the middle, and then it fades out. So we're kind of replicating that using this technique. The gradient's already done quite a good job of that, but I'm just spreading it a bit further. Okay, so there's before, there's after, and this one on top is just adding that little bit of realism to the picture as well. See, it's some nice little gaps in there. So if you want to strengthen this, we can compress, com can press Command or Control J to duplicate the layer to uh, add another load of density onto that, and that's coming together quite nicely. Okay, so we've got three layers now. Let me just group these together. There's before, there's after. So already working quite well. Now the good thing about this having it on separate layers is we can control each of these layers independently. So if we think uh, some of it's a little bit too strong, we can just uh, go in and uh, and add uh, adjust the opacity on those. Now the finishing touch. Not always, but sometimes it's quite nice to add a little bit of grain uh, to to these layers. I won't do it on all of them, but I'll do it on this main one here. I'm going to right click, convert to a smart object. I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise. And sometimes, like I said, it's just good to add a little bit of noise to the image. Not much. Now, being a smart object, we can come in and adjust this as well. So it's all sort of done in a way that's flexible. We can come back in and readjust everything. So let's add an amount of two. Just going to zoom in. Okay, I don't, you know, it's not going to do a huge amount, but it just adds a very tiny bit. I'm not sure it's going to show up on the video here, but it just adds a little bit of grain. So it's not like a flat color or flat tone. It just breaks it up even more. So... That is about it. There's before, there's after. So that's a quick way of adding some realistic mist to the image. I think the colour could be adjusted a little bit more on this one. A bit of fine tuning. But uh, overall, I think that's going to work really, really well. So I hope uh, you've enjoyed this video. And I hope to catch you on the next one. Cheers for watching.